Yes, just whenever you're ready, if you'd like to introduce yourself and um, tell me about your research. Acidification of oceans has been caused by the absorption of large amounts of carbon dioxide emissions. Research indicates that water acidification poses substantial risks to all types of marine ecosystems and impacts the physiology, behavior and population dynamics of all species. One method of understanding the history of carbon dioxide emissions is through the study of ice cores taken from the Antarctica, Greenland and high mountain glaciers. Ice cores trap air bubbles, dust, pollen and radioactive substances. By analyzing carbon isotopes and other substances in the ice cores, scientists are able to reconstruct detailed climate records for thousands of years. Hi, I am Tino Han at Seoul National University, South Korea. I'm interested in greenhouse gas because greenhouse gas is very important for climate change. However, our understanding for greenhouse gas is not sufficient to exactly predict future climate. Ice core preserves ancient air and it gives very important information about how greenhouse gas concentration in the atmosphere was controlled and how it affects climate change. So I use I, I measure concentrations of air in the past and also I measure I would like to measure isotopes, heavy and lighter uh, molecules that gives information how greenhouse gases come from and where it disappears. Join us on our next story when we discuss if the rise of carbon dioxide will usher in a new golden age of food production. Will most plants and animals thrive as never before?